We have some special issues, though I will tell you, we had the same issues in Virginia as we do in Houston. Mold is a big deal in bathrooms and other parts of houses. It, it's, I've dealt with it in commercial properties, and we've dealt with it in residential properties. Uh, mold is regarded as a health issue, although I think that it's largely overblown, speaking as a professional in the industry, but the reality is, is um, you want to rent a property that is mold free, but then you want to make sure when people move out that the property is mold free. And again, I, I, I've ran into a lot of graduate students and we ran into an issue where the bathrooms hadn't been washed for a whole year. So they had mold in the bathrooms, not because of anything we did as a landlord, but because they are college students and they just didn't clean the bathrooms. So uh, we put in a couple different things. One of the things is we don't clean anything ourselves. I may own the properties individually, but I, I work seven days a week. I don't need to be cleaning out somebody else's dirt. We hire commercial cleaning services, and what we tell the tenants is, you can clean it and you can call a commercial cleaning service. They'll coupon you through Living Social or Groupon, and you'll pay 150 bucks. If I call the cleaning service and say, I'm a landlord and I need you to go in and do a, a move out cleanup, they're gonna charge me 300 or 350, and that's a no coupon deal. So we really do press people to say, you're responsible for the property. What I've done with my properties is to tell people that if they think there's some mold in the property, they have three days from the day they, day they move in to tell me that they think there's some mold in the property. Otherwise, we say we deem them responsible for it. So we, we do put the pressure on the tenant to make sure they're moving. Also have a similar provision in my leases on drains is um, a lot of tenants move out and you find out that uh, half the drains in the house don't work or work real, work real slow and that may be part of the reason they're moving out. So my leases now say, again, if in the first few days you find a drain that's draining slow, you let me know, I'll get a person in there, we'll get that drain fixed. But when you move out, we expect every drain to work and if you have a problem with the drains while you're in there, we are going to charge that to you. We're not paying a plumber to come clean out your uh, grease trap or hair trap in your in your bathroom. So sometimes good management like this really can save you a lot of money down the road. Um, the next issue is smoking. Um, I'm a long time anti-smoker, to be just very blunt, I don't mean to offend anybody here who's a smoker, but smoking is a very small minority of the population today. It, it has dropped uh, dramatically and it continues to drop, thank goodness, because it's the most controllable health issue. As landlords, smoking does a lot of damage. We talked about cats marking the property. About the only other thing worse than that is people smoking in your property. As you know, virtually every major hotel in the United States has gone completely non-smoking. They have big signs up that say, if you smoke in this uh, hotel room, we're going to charge you. The rental cars have signs in them today that say, if you smoke in this rental car, we're going to charge you 200 bucks. So uh, my leases all say no smoking on the property at all, and you are responsible for your visitors as well as for yourself. And uh, if somebody moves out and, you, and you've got smoke odor in it, Again, I hire a professional cleaning service and whatever it costs, I, you know, send them the bill.